in the previous video we talked about session logs now in this video we'll talk about scheduler so in the blue prism we have a scheduling option which help us to schedule our process on the specific date and time the daily basis or on any specific date and time as of now you have executed your process by just dragging a drop to the resource we have another option that is schedule that scheduler where we can set up a date and time with the process specific process and then that process will run on the specific date and time on daily basis on the specific date and time or monthly basis or yearly basis so let me show you so here in the control room this is the complete part scheduler now in the scheduler we can see the reports we can see the timetables of that schedule like on what time when that schedule will run we can see everything now how can we create a schedule so for that you can see there is one option that is schedules now right click on this schedules and click on new schedule now here you can see we have the by default name that is new schedule now here you can put your schedule name so schedule name will be your process name and then you can put like underscore or hyphen that schedule name so my process name is centrix data solutions and now the schedule will be i want to run daily 1 pm so i can put here daily 1 pm so this is our ist time because currently my blue prism it has enabled that time that is ist but if you are using est or pst or cst you have to configure your blue blue prism in that time and then automatically your blue prism will run on the specific date and time based on your system so currently my this time is 1251 so I'm going to plan for daily 1 p.m. So you can put that details. And now in the description you can put here like run daily basis on 1 p.m. IST and you can also put your description of this process like this process will run. Now here we have an initial task. Currently it is showing new schedule, new task. So task will be uh, the part of schedule. So we have only one task currently, new schedule, new task. And this schedule you can see here. If you click here, you can see this. Let me first complete this part and then I will come to the new task option. And here in the schedule option we have runs. It means we have all the options once, weekly, hourly or minutely monthly daily or yearly so if you want to run your project only once only once today you can set up that once you can put the date starts on the specific date and you can put the time so it will run only one time on that specific time and then after that that will not run now if you want to run daily basis so you can click on daily and then daily basis if you want to start from today or tomorrow you can select a date and time like I want to start from today on this time so I can put here 13 13 means 1 p.m. right and now we have another option that is expires on neighbor so if I want to set up my schedule that doesn't expire so I can click here neighbor if I want to set up my schedule to expire after one month or after one year i can also put here like expire on after one month i want to expire this schedule so i can go and select any date so ultimately that schedule will be expired and that will not run on that specific date and time now here we have run daily every one day so if we'll, if you're putting daily so every one day if we'll put here two so every two days it means alternate days you will able to or this schedule will run so you can select like that if you want to run weekly basis you can select weekly 
and then here we have option on Thursday run weekly on only on Thursday weekly basis or on the first or last work day in the calendar you can select here. Now here we have a yearly basis so every one year every year it means every January 2021 every January to 2022 like that you can select here. We have monthly option so every first month on 17th date every month it means every first every month it will run on 17th, 17th date it means today's date so in the next month it means in the july it will run on the 17th july then august so 17th august so you can set up like this on the specific date and time currently i'm going to set set up here only once and time will 1 pm 13 means 1 pm now apply changes here so that i can go to the next part now here we have a new schedule new task that we have selected in the initial task now initial task means whatever things will be setting up in the initial new task will be executed here because this is the part of this schedule so first initially this task will be executed so we are going to this and now here we have a new schedule new task so you can put the detail of that one like what will the task so you can write here i want to just run set centrix main process if you want to run like you know in a different way if you want to run first add items to the queue and then you want to execute uh, complete process so what will happen first initially add items to queue process will be executed and once that will be completed then other things it means other process will be executed so we have that option here you can create one more task and you can set up like this so first let me show you how to schedule this so here we can put centrix underscore main process this is just name you can put the description now on complete so on completion of this process i want to stop my process okay if you don't want to stop you need to select something else so currently we are not getting any other option here but i will show you now on exception do you want to abort so yes if we are getting any error process will be aborted now here we have available process and here we have available resources so click on here and click on this now which process you want to schedule so i want to schedule this process centrix data solutions so i am going to select that or like you can say drag and drop and drop to the a specific process a specific resource that you want to set up here so it means i have set up here now you can see scheduled session i want to run this process on this specific resource if you are multiple you can choose your specific resource and you can drag and drop that post process to the specific resource and now you can see here now apply changes so here you can see by this way we have scheduled this process to run once at today's this time 13 and if you want to run this you can just right click on this this your process the schedule right click and run now here we have a other option we can create a new task your task is this one and you can delete this schedule if you want to delete you can delete you can retire this retire means if this schedule is not in use you can retire this one once we'll right click and retire this it will move to the retired schedule and now you will not getting in the schedule option you, you will be getting only in the retired schedule here and this schedule will not run on the specific date and time now you can unretire so it will move to the specific schedule option now the other option we have clone it means if you want to copy the same process same schedule and you want to make another copy of that you can click on clone so it will create a copy of that specific schedule and you can create a another schedule there 
and you can click on run now to run that process now I want to just clarify one thing here that I am using here learning edition so I will not able to run schedule in my system and also I am not using BP server so I will not able to run that but this will help you to understand the schedule process it means by this way you can schedule your process on the specific resource on the specific date and time and by that way automatically your schedule will run there if there is an error and you want to run that schedule manually so you can right click and run now so it will run there now if I am going to take one more task and you can see here now we have another task that new task here now let's say this is for add items to queue and this is for main process let me change this and you can understand like this let's say I want to first run add items to queue so I will first run this after adding items to queue I want to run main process right and now you can set up like this you can understand here my initial task I want to run only add items to queue not main directly I don't want to run main I want to first start my process with the add items queue so what will happen whenever your process will be scheduled your process will be executed on the specific date and time daily 1 pm daily 1 pm so what will happen first it will take initial task it means first this task will be executed this task means what will happen in this task whatever process you will be putting here if you are up, you have applied add items to queue here then add items queue will be executed here and here you can see we are here so once this add items to queue this process completed so on complete what you want to do do you want to stop that no in this scenario I don't want to stop because after adding items to queue I want to run my main process so that I can complete I can process all the pending queue items so I will click on on complete and I can choose my process so I want to process this one so what will happen first let me first apply changes first it will start add items to queue and on completion of this process my main process will be automatically started and here you can put here the second like after post completion delay second if you want to put some delay so it will take some it will wait for some time after completion of this queue and then it will start this pro processing right now after completion of this one now we are here so after completion of main do you want to run any other process like do you want to run a process which can export items to the uh, items to excel somewhere so you can run a new or if you want to just stop that process so you can choose stop and then apply changes but now this is the main so again we need to set up this one here okay so this is the main process and this is our currently I have only one but you will have add items to queue a different process so you can set up like that right but if you have only one process that has everything included like add items to queue and your main process everything is there then no need to add multiple uh, tasks you need to add only one task that will say that you know initial task will be your main process and on complete a stop that's it so by this way you can schedule that now one more option I can show you here that we have option only on days in the calendar let's say if you are working for a company where the company they are saying that I want to run my process only on Monday to Friday I don't I don't want to run my process on Saturday and Sunday so what you can do here and also they are saying that I don't want to run my process where we have a holiday public holiday like if you are working for a USA if you are working for a any other company USA London like that so you can choose their calendar option their whole day calendar and then you can you know 
uh, set up like so the your schedule your process will not run on the specific date and time now here you will select that only on days in the calendar and then you will select this working week slash no holiday it means you want to run only on the working weeks not on the holidays now let me apply changes go to the systems and in the system here we have a, a one option that is calendar so in the calendar now here you can see we have uh, these weekdays and these two weekends it means if we'll go with this one your process will not run on saturday and sunday if we'll go with this let me save this and go to control room schedule and you can see 17th 18th we have two schedule but on 19th and 20 it means saturday and sunday it will not run again it will start from monday you can see monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday but it will not run on saturday sunday now if we we'll go to the system and then click on calendar again now here we have option we can choose public holidays it means if you are working for england or you are working for usa you can choose usa and now here we have all the public holidays and so let me find out what is the date of this new year day or like these things so if you want to see the date you can click on show next holidays and you can see now today is 17th june so here you can find out 17 5 july so 5 july we have a independence day in usa so i don't want to run my process on the 5th july 2021 so i will go to the control room now and click on schedule this schedule and then find out here go to the july go to july calendar 5 july you can see even we have monday but it will not run because this is the public holiday in usa so you can set up these things and that will help you to schedule this one now here we have a scheduler you can activate this one and it has automatically these things written if resource is offline it will retry the same things after 5 seconds if retry an offline resource at maximum of 10 times only 10 times if you want to set up this that you want to retry 5 times if your resource is offline retry only 5 times if no then leave it so you can apply these things here apply and now here in the calendar you can find out one more option here we can see if you have any other holiday like any party or something you don't want to run your process on the specific date and time and those things are not written not available in these things then you can select a specific date and you can add to this option so what will happen it will consider as a non working days so on 8th june and 18th june it will not run today is 18th uh, 17th so friday i don't want to run this so i will select here you can add multiple here also you can add here and you can see 18th june my this schedule will not run so you can now go to the control room click on schedule and you can find out here friday now it will not run so this is the complete tutorial of schedules in the control room how to schedule on the specific date and time so i hope you like this in the next video we'll start with the work queues